Here we go! Hey, Blue Blurs, what is up with y'all? This is GamerBlade90, here to present to you another Sonic Mania mod showcase video. And this one is for one heck of a mod, which is called Knuckles and Emerald Hunt Mania. Now, if you play the Sonic Adventure games, especially with Knuckles, you may already realize where exactly this is going, so let me confirm your suspicions. This does take Knuckles' Emerald Hunting gameplay from both of the adventure titles and incorporates it in the style of Sonic Mania. Complete with a revamped um, title screen and a main menu screen, which is in the image of Knuckles. Which makes all too much sense considering that the Emerald Hunting missions are essentially a trademark of the Red Echidna. Really, really awesome modded work here, even if it's not quite complete. As you can see from the X is over a handful of the levels, which are Lava Reef at 3, Titanic Monarch at 2, Press Guard at 1, and Mirage Loot at 1. The Emerald Hunting gimmick isn't quite ready for those stages, but for every other accessible stage, you are tasked with finding not the three-peat of the Master Emerald this time, but three Chaos Emeralds instead, in every other selectable act. This can also be done in Encore mode, just to confirm your suspicion, and I'm going to be using a fair bit of this in today's showcase for a level that previously didn't have an Encore palette up until this mod happened, but that's going to be for later. This is also a team effort by Blue Streak, Main Memory, and Code Name Gamma, so major shout out to all of them for giving up this amazing mod to play around with, with all the Sage 2020 demo that was submitted just last week, and it's out for our enjoyment. Well, actually, I think it was submitted a little earlier than last week, considering that some submissions to Sage were released earlier than others were, but eh. Anyway, for our first level, I think it would be best to showcase the Emerald Hunting gameplay, not on Green Hill, because I'm sure you see more of enough at that stage as it is when it comes to Media Mod showcases, but instead we'll take it to Knuckles' home domain, which is Angel Island. And in fact, you're going to see it twice this video, because again, it does have an Encore palette, something I don't think we've seen in the base game for Sonic Mania. And when I saw it the first time, I was taken aback by it. Pretty cool, honestly, and you'll get to see for yourself soon enough, but for now. As expected, you're equipped with a radar that will indicate to you when you are nearby a Chaos Emerald, but you will have to pay closer attention to it because it doesn't come with a sound effect signify when the radar starts going off. So you have to watch it closely for the instant where it changes color, and in this case, I've got two Emeralds lighting up in yellow, so we're reasonably close to two of them. Where the third is still completely grayed out. Luckily, this radar works in the style of Adventure 1, where multiple emeralds will light up if you're near them, as opposed to Adventure 2, where only one will light up at a time. So it should make your journey to find the, uh, I almost said Pete Master Emerald, because <laughs> had it with Knuckles, but it should make your journey to finding the three Chaos Emerald a lot easier than it otherwise would be. And also, Angel Island is an incredibly short stage, so it makes it all the more suited to be used as the level to showcase this mod with. Anyway, there's the first emerald right here, and after how you collect them, you jump on them as if they were an item box, and then they'll more or less shatter, signify that you collected the Chaos Emerald. In fact, the emerald at the bottom of the radar will light up with a silvery light or a white light, I can't really tell which, honestly. But anyway, it'll light up indicating that you collected that particular emerald, and now you got to find the other two. And once you found all three emeralds, the stage ends right away. You might also know that the time limit at the upper left is completely frozen because, well, the models have been generous enough to not task us with a time limit, or burden us with a time limit, excuse me, when finding the emeralds, so very nice of them. It also means that as far as scoring goes, you'll always get a 50,000 time bonus, which is essentially the max bonus associated with the time bonus, which is pretty neat. But, of course, scoring isn't really our main concern when it comes to finding the emeralds, unless there was a ranking system involved, in which case it kind of would be. But the thing about the ranking system between the Sonic game is that they always go back and forth between being score-based and time-based in some instances, so it's kind of hard to tell which is preferable nowadays. But in any case, we found all three emeralds on Angel Island's Mania Mode palette. And now, we're going to revisit it, this time with the Encore palette. Interesting how it goes over to the green coloring for Knuckles as opposed to the red for the Mania, um, Mania screen. Uh, what's... I went back to Mania completely by accident. <laughs> well, a recorded instance of a fail. But anyway, Encore Angel Island, boys. We've got Angel Island with Rainfall. Isn't this interesting? I really love what they did with it. 
But aside from that, it doesn't change the length of the stage by any means, it just changes the layout slightly. As is the tradition with Encore mode. Changes up the layout slightly, but never the actual length of the stage. Alright, so we found the first emerald already, at the very beginning of the stage, in fact. And if you're wondering, yes, the emeralds do randomize in between the stages, although some less so than others. I'd say it'd be more likely that we'll have to deal with randomized location for all the other stages are much longer than this one is, for sure. Okay, second emerald collected already! I won't limit this showcase to just Angel Island, though. I will show off one of the other stages. And in this instant, that'll be started as Speedway. My favorite stage in all of Sonic Mania. And Sonic CD, as a matter of fact. Don't think I got to show off this stage terribly much whenever I did Mania Mod showcases, which have been increasingly less frequent, I've come to notice. In part because of my fan game showcase, which I've really taken a liking to, and my ongoing playthrough for, you know, Sonic Color Mobile Blast 2. I may have mentioned them a fair number of times, so I think you all get the gist of it. And also, the last emerald is down here underwater! <laughs> And you might have realized that as the level ends right away, if you're nearby Hazard, then when you go into your level complete pose, you will still get hurt. Maybe some comedic instances. You might actually even die while the level of select screen is being registered, and potentially may have to redo the stage after that. But luckily I have yet to have that happen to me. But if I'm unlucky enough, we might come across an instance of it happening, you never know. Now that I got that out of the way, it's time to go to Stardust Speedway. Hands down the best stage in Sonic Mania. And I won't tolerate anybody who disagrees with me on that instance. <laughs> Actually, I'm just kidding. I can tolerate differing opinions, but nothing wrong with them in the slightest. But I think it's a commonly agreed upon fact that Stardust Speedway in Mania was hands down awesome. But what's not awesome is sometimes these Firefly badniks don't want to behave in the way you expect them to. Really obnoxious. We seem to be moving a bit away from the third emerald, so it looks like I'll have to backtrack from why I can move past those annoying little cannons that just keep shooting me in the entirely wrong direction. Well, this is going so well. I'm trying to go to the left and start to be with like, no, 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 go right, go right, go right! The one time I actually feel like I'm fighting against the stage that are playing with it. <laughs> Let's see... Are we getting closer to it? No, we still have to keep going to the left. Again, there's no sound effect indicating when an emerald is nearby, so you really will have to keep a close eye on the radar while you're playing through the stage. Much more so than you would have had to if you're playing, like, say, Sonic Adventure 1 or 2. Otherwise, it's easy to lose track of where you're supposed to go. And if that Firefly would kindly buzz off instead of hitting me while inside the tunnel, that would be really appreciated. Wait. I seem to be stuck. How do I get out? How do I get out? I don't usually get lost here. This is bizarre. Alright, alright. Get me out of there. Get me out of there. Get me out of there. Thank you. Um. Alright, I'm taking a little bit too long to find that piece of my liking. So you know what? What's gonna restart it? I don't know if the emerald location will randomize with each restart of the stage. It probably only does that when you re-enter the stage from the menu screen as opposed to restarting for it. Or maybe it does. Because I don't remember that second emerald going off when I came past here earlier. And what happened to the music? It is a criminal act to play Stardust Speedway with no music. What is this? Modders, reporting a bug. Get on it, please. <laughs> oh, what? That was entirely my fault. But on the bright side, we are nearing the location of the second emerald. And this time, I'm not gonna get lost here. Seriously, me getting lost on my favorite level? You know something's wrong with the universe if that happens. And funnily enough, my Discord server is named after Stardust Speedway. In fact, it's actually called Stardust Speedway Blake Avenue. It's probably not the most creative name I could've come up with for a server, but... I did need to... Put in some kind of clue in the title of the server that it does, in fact, belong to me. And to the community that I have built up, of course. My community of Blue Blurs. As for the hashtag up above us, Blue Blurs for life. This ain't just a solo effort. Alright, so we finally found the second emerald. But still no music! Maybe they break an invincibility monitor. That'll bring the music back. Because I don't feel comfortable playing the Speedway without my favorite piece of music. This is such a criminal act. Well, we found two emeralds. You know what? 
I hate using debug mode, but in this case, I'm going to make an exception, because I need to get the music back somehow. Let's, uh... There we go. Alright, so once the invincibility and vent wears off, that should bring the start of Speedway theme back, and if not, we're gonna have a problem. But yeah, that leaves us one emerald left to find. Just one emerald. You know, I never really thought all that much about Knuckles emerald hunting missions in both adventure games. I thought they were okay. Not exactly something I'd be visiting now. Yeah! Yeah, break it, break it down. Oh! <laughs> I feel so much better now, but it's back. I feel so much better. But as I was saying, I didn't really think too much about Knuckles' missions in the adventure games. I thought they were okay, but nothing memorable that really made me want to go back and revisit them like that. Now, if our Sonic missions are concerned, you betcha. And Shadow, of course. Can't forget his infamous counterpart. Also, looks like I'm closing in on the last emerald. Where might it be? I know it's here somewhere, maybe directly below here. Or not. It flashed yellow a second ago. Alright, where are you? Oh, 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 oh. Almost got hit by that nasty little firefly there. And this guy. Knuckle just won't cling on to that wall for some reason. Or a piece of a platform jutting out. Not necessarily a wall, but I think you all know where I'm going with that. So now that all is right with the world again, and we're hearing that jazzy beat for Stardust Speedway, let's find that last emerald and be done with the stage already. But where is it? It's so close by. Is it here? And you all wonder why I don't think highly of an uh, emerald hunting mission in the adventure game. This is why. I'm not all too adept at them. Now, you give me the Adventure 1 missions, and heck yes, because the radar there is more preferable than it is here, but otherwise... Yeah. Alright, we're clearly going the wrong way. Seriously, though, where is that last emerald? Where it be? I'm genuinely confused. Where is it? Maybe it's up there? Nope. Dead end. <laughs> I never did break down the color coding for the radar, but green indicates that you are getting somewhat close to the emerald, like you're wandering within its vicinity, but you're not all that close to it yet. Yellow means you're getting warmer, and red means you're red hot. You might have already figured that out from watching the mod showcase up to this point, but I felt it necessary to slip in that little detail of a thing, because I do make it a point to ensure that my showcases are as informative as possible, so you all know what you're getting into, you decide to try me for yourself. And after tradition, the link to download this mod will be in the description below, as it is with all my mod videos, so make sure to check it out. Now, if I could just find that last emerald... Seriously! I don't usually have this much trouble finding one emerald. The last time I've had this much trouble was when I was experiencing the hard mode version of the Sonic Adventure 2 stages. Those were a nightmare. And yes, I have documented my experience of that particular mode, if y'all want to give it a look and you feel to watching me suffer my way through them. Alright, I am officially lost. I probably have to go back underneath that lower pathway in order to get to that last emerald, but I can't do so from this side, so let's try backtracking. And going... Well, nope, I can't go here. <laughs> okay, seriously? Well, there you are! After, like, minutes upon minutes upon minutes of searching for you. And on my favorite level at that, this is an embarrassing record I set for myself. Even if I don't regularly do emerald hunting on Stardust Speedway, this is just... I don't know, dude. Okay, yeah, but yeah, I think we've all had enough of this stage, as it is. So, yeah, let's back out of it. This was Knuckles Emerald Hunt Mania by Blue Streak, Main Memory, and Codename Gamma. Again, if y'all want to check it out for yourself, the link will be in the description below, and I hope you enjoy it. The same rule governs every stage, just pick up the three Chaos Emeralds, and you are done. The special stage rings don't work in the same fashion they do in Mania, they to give you 50 ring whenever you pick them up, so I don't think there's any super forms to be had here, unless you abuse debug mode, which I try to avoid doing for my mod showcases, but 
I of course had to resort to it a couple times to get the stage done with, and I generally hate doing that, so sorry to any of my honorable gamers out there, I totally understand wanting to avoid the use of it, but what are you gonna do? So yeah, that is it for Knuckles Emerald Hunt Mania. I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, like and comment, leave us down below. Always curious to know your feedback, and I'm pretty sure the people who made this mod are curious to know as well. And if you want to keep up my content, hit that sub button and ring that bell so that you'll be alerted whenever a new Sonic video goes up. Thank you all for watching, and again, thanks to Blue Streak, Bane Memory, and Codename Gamma for presenting us with this amazing mod. I hope you get it finished soon so we can play every level with this gimmick, even though it's not one of my better strengths. And I will see you all next time. Until then, peace out, blue blurs, or I guess I should say red echidnas in this instance. Red echidnas for life. Take care. <laughs>